Hello World Wide Web, this is James. Welcome back to my stock channel. Another update on Troika Media Group Inc. TRKA is the ticker symbol. We've done lots of videos on this one in the past. Things just got interesting. Uh, a reverse stock split uh, this week, uh, 25 to 1, opposite. Uh, so I'm just sitting here trying to do the short math on this. Um, if 10 cents, if for every 10 cents a share that it used to be, it's now $22.50. So if it was a 20 cent per share company before, it should be $5 right now. Uh, $3.41 is where it sits. It looks like it took a really big pounding after the stock split. World did not like it. They only have 16 million outstanding shares now, which is fantastic. Much better than they did before. Um, I don't even know how to measure this, but here's the cliff that this is all based on the 25 to 1 as if it had already happened. Um, they reverse the charts to affect today's amount of shares and reflect uh, the proportion. So like I said, it should be 550 right on the stock split right there. Um, and here we go. Down, 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 down. World not liking this at all. $3.05, it found a bottom. Shot back up to $3.41. Uh, question is, is what do we have here, sports fans? Uh, TRKA is a, uh, I guess they're an advertising company now. Uh, they uh, were a shell company, basically. They were pretty much worthless. They bought a company called Converge, which is a very profitable uh, small but growing good um, advertising company. Um, predictions were anywhere from 200 to 400 million dollars a year in revenue. Um, and they have turned a profit three quarters in a row. Uh, albeit a very small profit, uh, they're still online to probably make five million dollars this year, maybe six. Uh, not a big deal. Um, you have 16 million outstanding shares. So in a fantasy world, uh, we could say that if they uh, earn $16 million somehow through the year, 16 million shares, uh, they'll be worth a dollar a share. Uh, they're not doing that right now. If they're worth a dollar a share, they're probably worth a whole earnings per share a dollar. They're probably worth a whole heck of a lot more than five bucks. Uh, I would probably put that one at least at 10 or 15 or 20 bucks. So a conundrum. Uh, is this company going to make money or not? Uh, the growth over the last two quarters. Let's take a look at that really quick. I think that's going to tell some of the tale. Um, now this charts are still delayed on Google Finance. Uh, September of 2022. When's the last quarter? This doesn't even reflect my last three earnings reports. Um, this one was the first profitable one. They made 1.27. They came out the next quarter. They made $5 million uh, on less revenue. The revenue actually went down to $60 million um, in the next quarter. And they, they said it was seasonal. This is an advertising company that's seasonal. I'm guessing their clients are seasonal or something. Um, so you can't just multiply this times four and say, you know, they're going to do $480 million. Uh, that was my guess. I had no idea this was a seasonal business. Uh, it turns out it's going to probably do half of it. Uh, annually, they brought in, uh, well, $375 million in 2022. And they lost $20 million on paper. That includes before they bought Converge, as back when they were losing money. Uh, but they made money three quarters in a row. Actually, they are right side up here. $1.27 billion for the quarter. Yeah, this is just missing a few quarters, and it's missing 2023. Um, but you'll have to do the research on the last three earnings reports. I believe it was uh, almost $2 million they made. Um, and then they made five million. Then they made two million again. So maybe nine million dollars in earnings and earned money. Um, I don't know where you put the stock price at this thing at. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have consistency with 
their money. Um, to find out they were seasonal was a little bit disturbing to me. Maybe that's what sent this thing into a tizzy and they didn't like the reverse stock split. I did. Um, didn't seem like a bad idea. They uh, diluted their shares and they were cool enough to buy them back. Or I guess they didn't buy them back. They just did the reverse stock split. Maybe that's a, a sign that people don't like. Uh, it does save them from a uh, potential uh, going under 20 cent problem that they're having with their finance companies. They said if their stock goes under 20%, they're in default. And then their finance company, after they did go under 20 cents, said, okay, it's cool, stick with it. Gave them a thumbs up and changed the deal. Uh, they kept rewriting the deal for Troika to make it easier and easier for them to make their payments. Uh, now they're making their payments and they're profitable. But just a little bit. So how much can an advertising squ company squeak out in, in, uh, in gross profit? I guess that's what we're going to find out over time. Uh, with only 16 million shares outstanding, if this company turns out to have, uh, I, I think we need to learn more about the advertising that they're selling, uh, what websites, what mediums are in play here. Uh, there's probably a lot more to learn about Troika Media Group before I can open my mouth and give a recommendation. But the price looks really, really low. Um, but then again, I don't know. It's a profitable company, so it's got to be low. I, I see unprofitable companies with 10 times more shares in much worse markets all the time for a whole heck of a lot more than this. Uh, so it does seem very, very cheap. Uh, with that number of outstanding shares. If the, the, these people start doing $32 million in profit, if they do this kind of revenue, let's just take some projections here, $375 million of revenue for the year, and they have an operating expense of $44 million for the, for the year. Uh, there's a ton of gross profit baked in here, folks. I don't know what what they spend their money on specifically. I think a lot of this is paying back the people that uh, they bought Converge on credit. So they bought this huge profitable company on credit. And I think they're sucking all of the profit to pay it off. And that's where all this is going. Um, yeah, that's just my opinion. I think uh, they're going to... I think they're going to be a very profitable company. I, I think they're a 50, 60% gross profit company. It is advertising. Uh, if they own the medium for the advertising, it's going to be almost all profit. Um, so yeah, I really like uh, this company. I like their odds of getting to 30, $40 million in earnings a lot. If they could just keep 10% of their revenue and call it profit, you're staring at a $50 stock. Can they do this? Can they, uh, they're averaging maybe 10 now or nine now, 9 million. Can they bring this thing to 40? I don't know. Maybe when they buy the, when the, when Troika buys back the converge money after they've dropped the payments down on that, let's take a look at their balance sheet. Let's see how this thing's going. Well, it's not telling us the whole story, but you can see where they're, their debt launched upwards. $124 million is what they owe after they bought Converge. So that's what we're looking at. They need to pay back 120, yeah, let's just call it $100 million to get back to pre-Converge levels. They need to pay back $100 million. The company does 80 points, 50 points, 60 point margins. And the company does three, $400 million a year how long do you think it's going to take them to pay back $112 million? Uh, my guess is not long. Uh, they're doing it now and turning a profit. Um, I think it's an, what I call an, an intentional small profit. Uh, whatever, if they earn $50, $60 million for the quarter, or for the, let's just say for the year, I think three quarters of that is going to go to pay off themselves their own debt. And this is not going to reflect a downward trend in debt, I don't think. Well, yeah, it is going down, actually. In two quarters, they brought it from 195 to 176 So if they just keep this pace up, the debt's probably a lot lower than that. Uh, 176 was the debt on the latest quarter. 
again, that's uh, something they can pay half of, of it off rather quickly, probably. And I think the, the next few earnings reports are not reflected. And I believe if you research it, you'll find out their liabilities are now a lot lower than they were in September of 2022. I like this company. I think it's a growing sector. I think it's going to do better when the uh, economy recovers. Definitely want to scoop up some shares for every $3.41 you spend. You might be getting $50 back in a couple of years. So don't go too nuts, but there's no reason why you shouldn't buy some uh, and then buy it as it goes down. Uh, if it collapses, scoop up more of it. Uh, but start slow and, and uh, take what you can get out of it. Whatever uh, life is willing to give you on this one, take it. Um, buy a little bit. If it falls, buy twice as much as you did the first time. If it falls, buy four times more. And do that a few times. And then stick with it for a couple of years. Uh, you're probably looking at a $40, $50 share, and, and then you'll be in at the right price.